Welcome, friends, to a new game. We've played through the longest journey, and then we've played through Dreamfall, the longest journey. I think it's about time we finally complete the story so far with Dreamfall chapters. Now, I have honestly, being honest here, have not played this, so... Because when I bought it, they were still doing the... Uh, the game was episodic, so I was still... They were still bringing out all the, the, the episodes and stuff, so I never really played it. And then by the time that did come out, I was doing other things, so I didn't get to play it. So this would be really blind, so that's going to be fun for everybody. But to start, why don't we get a little backstory of what we've missed, or not missed, or what we have been through up to this point with music and stuff. So let's see how Zoe's doing. Can't be bad. Hello, my name is Zoe. I'm in a coma, and this is my story. A year ago, I was living with my dad in Casablanca. I dropped out of uni. I had no idea what to do with my life. Then my friend Reza went missing. Reza's a journalist, and he was investigating a story. Some people were not too happy about that. They tried to kill him. He ran. I went looking for him. Yes, it was a stupid idea. But I had to do something for him, for myself. I followed the breadcrumbs to Watercorp's headquarters in Japan. You probably know Watercorp for their robotic toys, but now they were making a brand new entertainment device, the Dream Machine. I'm sure you've heard of it. It gives users control over their dreams. At least, that's the sales pitch. The Dream Machine was actually designed to steal memories and control people. Reza was close to exposing the truth when he vanished. I'll give you one guess at who wanted him dead. With a ton of help from friends, I finished what Reza had started. I exposed the conspiracy and stopped the Dream Machine from being released. Well, sort of. Watercorp released it anyway, a few months later, but without the mind-controlling, um, features. And it's a success, of course. Oh, and another thing, mm, two things, big things. After being forcibly connected to the beta version of the Dream Machine, long story, don't ask, I was um, transported to another world, a, uh, a parallel world where um, magic is real. Yeah, I know, stay with me. That's where I found out that I'm a dreamer, which is like being a sort of mind wizard, actual Jedi powers, yay. I know, I know, but this is all real, at least I think it's real, and not, not just a dream. Speaking of dreams, remember the coma? So my body is lying in a hospital in Casablanca, sure, but my mind is trapped in a different place place called the story time if you walk away now I don't blame you it's a lot to take in and I'm not quite done see the woman who injected me with the drugs and put me in this coma her name's Helena Chang and she's involved with the dream machine project also she's my mother who was supposed to be dead according to my father who lied to me confused welcome to my life My name is Kian Alvane. I was once the Apostle. I am now a convicted traitor. Tomorrow morning, I die. One year ago, I left Azadir, my homeland, for Mercuria, capital of the Northlands. I'd been sent to this city to find and assassinate the leader of the insurgents opposing our benevolent military rule. But when I arrived in Mercuria, I saw that people here were not as happy about the occupation as we'd been led to believe. And I learned that magicals were not the cruel and soulless creatures we'd always heard about. My convictions were further put to the test when I realized our leaders in Mercuria were corrupt and faithless, and that they were planning to not only destroy any and all opposition, but eradicate magic altogether. 
when I finally found the rebel leader, a human woman named April Ryan. I could not in good conscience carry out my assignment. There were too many questions. I refused to murder her. And for that, I was arrested and charged with treason. My mission, my faith, my life, they're all built on lies. Tomorrow I die. I'm ready. And we are going to start those chapters. Crazy stuff, all sorts of stuff that has been built up to this moment. Oh, so long ago. So, without knowing anything of what I'm doing, let's go in to Dreamfall chapters. And what am I doing? This game, to, to, oh, keeps track of, uh, blah, 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 go ahead and start. Auto saving. You auto save the game, sir. Do it. I dare you. <clears throat> Why is it flicker like with the black? It doesn't make any there sense. There are two worlds our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Dreams connect these parallel worlds, but a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming, but she is trapped in a place called the story time. Kian Alvane is destined to play an important role in the war to come, but he faces execution for treason against his own people. They are both about to be reborn. A new story is about to begin. Their paths will intersect, and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. Neat! Please, we know what we're looking forward to. In Dreamfall chapter- and can the screen quit flicking? Stop it! Stop it! Loading! You can reach it there, little buddy. You can- yay! Book one. Reborn. Great, now we have to experience life as a toddler. Ha ha ha! You have a tree growing out of you with ornaments. Everyone missing an eye. Okay, she's not.
it's dripping chocolate. Dude, those pants. Well, that's not ominous. Stargate opening up in my living room? I'd be pissed. Fuck it, now we're loading again. You can do a little guy. Run a, run a little marathon. Go. Go, 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 go. You made it. I knew it. Chapter one of book one. Adrift. Are we on the flaming boat? They say that every story has a beginning and an end. That isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story. So that she could keep her secret. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams. To dream time. It's just... entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for, and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. They don't want to use my dreams. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? Good question. The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... Is it my mind? My mind is elsewhere. Oh, it's, it's, apparently you're in a cave. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end. Including mine. That has to be awkward. You know, I don't know how much I would enjoy life if the only two things to do are to stare at myself in a coma or a vortex. I think I would run out of things to do really quick. Quick. Oh, we can move. I want to check something first, though. I... Uh, I don't know if I... Nope, that's not it. Is it under visuals? I guess not. Uh, there we go. Huzzah! Resume. So, we can move around. Ooh, the controls are really nice, actually. Oh, we move slowly. Yes, we need to hear the inner thoughts on every th on Wonkers. Oh god, Wonkers. Wonkers. My old Wattilla. It was weird. It was a weird thing. People keep bringing flowers. So funereal. Or they want you to get better? That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well... Sort of was. Thought you guys were just friends. <laughs> Oof. Can we run? Oh, we can. Huzzah. Figured it out. I'm learning today. Okay, so it just kind of snaps to what we can look at. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day. Keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. Oh, jeez. Okay, so the moving, you kind of just 
don't stop moving, it's weird. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. Mmm, nothing like a crack cocktail. What is it? Um, hello, can I, can I look at something else other than that? Nope, that's it. I'm gonna look at me and have a weird discussion. Sleeping beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. You're awkward. Right, so... Let's have a look around our surroundings. See what we can find, if anything. I mean, we have the... What? Oh, you can... Oh, interesting. You can read little things about them. Neat. Interesting, okay. So we... Oh, jeez. People dreaming, trapped inside their own night terrors. I really like the way the game will look so far. It's, it's, it's a really pretty game. Can we touch it? Can we touch their nightmares? Well, I guess we can, and I now don't want to. Nope, yep, it's time to go home. Now, I guess we'll go forward. Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. Do you think so? Or do you think it's just... Nice. It's a nice romp through dreamy, dreamy dreamland. No, it's not nice. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. Or something bad's already happened to it, and they're just having a nightmare. Or are you using super-duper powers? Oh, what the heck? What is going on? What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. I said stop. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. Please. Oh, for fuck's sake, people, go away. Whoa, whoa. Didn't know we were dropping F-bombs up in here, but I guess we are. Frick. She's all alone. I know that feeling. Yes. Yes, you do. Or do you? Don't leave. You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. Oh jeez. It's not helping you. What's going on? Why is there more people? Please. What are you doing? Stop following me. Turn around, go back, wake up. Does she say the same things? I said stop. Yep. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own now. Oh, the, this one's. This is not good. Are we, are we gonna make the fire go away? Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. And it's super duper powered away. There's no fire, and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much, it's messing with your head. Oh, so this is what happens when people are using the dream machine thing. But now we have weird people wanting to reach out and touch us, which I am not too sure that I am very much a fan of. But when we come back, we will continue going through this dream area and we will see if we can figure out what's going on or see if this is the dream thing or if we've got things that we need to do to... Don't tell me what I can and can't do. So until then, y'all take care, of course. Have a good one. Save me!